more of our work at the press center of Ukraine, Crisis Media Center. And now we will be talking about a competition, a hackathon, which took place in the in Dnipro city, a competition on aerial reconnaissance, which was held among the uh, senior students of schools. Uh, our speakers will be Ivan Rodichenko, volunteer, founder and director of GeoServer project, uh, Dmitro Rzitsky, a central executive officer of Platform for Innovations Development, uh, then uh, Igor Goryachkin, site manager in the company Cyclum, um, Alexander Pirogom uh, from GeoServer, specialist of company uh, Cyclum, and uh, Mr. Alexander Vinnik, specialist of company Cyclum, a GeoServer expert on software development and computing. Uh, I give you the floor and uh, Ivan will be speaking now. Good morning, everyone. I would like to start our press conference by telling that this is a special day for Ukraine. Today we would like to commemorate those who gave their lives when dealing with the results of Chernobyl disaster. Well, now let's start. What actually I'm going to talk about. In 2014, I came back from the USA to Ukraine because I wanted to become a, a volunteer soldier and to protect my country from Russian aggressors. First, I was helping uh, providing equipment for the army, and uh, my first success was uh, that I managed to unite efforts with uh, Ukrainian and diaspora in the USA, and we started helping uh, a volunteer battalion Kiev Skarus. This is the 25th battalion. We were supplying them with. Uh, um, uh, all the necessary equipment, and this continued during three years. Later, I understood uh, that uh, this is not the most efficient way to win the war. All this equipment that we were providing, this is good. But what is better is technology, technology that would be helping to save lives of Ukrainian soldiers and uh, we need high technology, high technology projects which, which would contribute to this aim. When I understood this, I joined uh, a team which had an idea to create a GeoServer project. These are Alexander Pirogov, Alexander Vinnik, Igor Goryachkin. The aim of this project was uh, um, uh, navigation uh, of U uh, UAVs. I believe that this is very important for Ukrainian army now. This is very important because uh, this is a way to save uh, thousands of lives of Ukrainian soldiers. Because just one UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, during one day can do the work that a unit of seven soldiers would have been doing for a longer period of time, risking their lives. A UFB can take this, all this information during one day, and these people would would need seven days in for, uh, to uh, to get information about dispos uh, disposition of uh, the enemy forces. This is uh, a very responsible job, and uh, very big risks. Uh, the UAV is an uh, expensive equipment, but it is really a solution. 
So uh, the idea of uh, GeoServer project was to create systems uh, um, for analyzing information uh, provided by UAVs. We wanted to um, unite all the teams, uh, which are uh, all the teams which work with the UAVs in the east of Ukraine. Uh, we often have situation when a UAV is coming back from the front line and carries thousands of photos. Um, just imagine that uh, you have thousands of photos in your in your smartphone that you need to analyze. Uh, so we take this data, we download it into uh, the system, and uh, we start analyzing it. Um, at present, specialists must do it uh, photo by photo. And we offer a solution when all these photos are classified. Uh, they uh, are classified according to um, coordinates uh, and uh, the places on the map where the, these or those objects were spotted. This is uh, a unique program because uh, you can be no no matter where you are your commander will always have access to this information and he will be able to see where a uav spotted uh, this or that equipment one more advantage of this program is uh, the system uh, is a targeting system we are working with the neuron uh, networks and it helps us to analyze objects uh, whether it is a tank or a building or a residential building a system will mark this by a certain color during our work we faced uh, the problem uh, of absence of funding uh, and uh, the idea of hackathon uh, uh, was to attract uh, talented youth to this project. We invited uh, Serhii Shcherekova. Uh, he uh, is uh, director of uh, um, student programmer program. And I offered him this idea, just let's invite uh, students to the startup. In such a way, we will combine и поможем проекту GeoServer. Вот. Поначалу это. And we will help to the GeoServer project. At first, it seemed to be very difficult, but uh, during our work. We saw that children not only managed to deal with the tasks that they received, but they also managed uh, to get the idea. And now I'm almost sure that they are able to launch even their own startup. They uh, made a great work. Uh, the, uh, found a detail, detailed solutions, they made perfect presentations, uh, they found uh, solutions to all uh, the tasks that we offered them. In, uh, the competition was supported by Cyclum Company, uh, they provided us their office and the rest uh, was done by our, by our efforts. In total, I think that we succeeded. The main aim of this hackathon was uh, to encourage uh, the participants and uh, our winners now are invited to participate in the GeoServer project. We will be working with them. We will continue this experiment. And now I give the floor to Alexander Pirogov. He will tell you more about uh, the technical side of the project. Good morning, my name is Alexander Pirogov. Formerly, I was uh, working as an uh, aerial reconnaissance specialist in the uh, 25th uh, um, Battalion. I won't be telling, uh, talking again about the importance of aerial reconnaissance. However, I would like to 
gave more details about the competition. The task for the participants was a real technical task based on a, a real life situation when, which can occur um, during an ordinary work of a team in a conflict zone. We decided uh, not to invent something extremely difficult. We offered to our participants a uh, participants a usual flight uh, for a usual spotting of objects and uh, their further processing. And uh, if they uh, and the successful completion of this task uh, helps the team to improve their experience and uh, uh, it teaches them to uh, carry uh, to to keep the data in uh, one uh, system. And uh, now I give the floor to you, to Igor Goryachkin to tell you more about this system. Thank you, Sasha. My name is Yegor Goryachkin. I'm one uh, of the uh, directors uh, com of the company Cyclum. Personally, I am uh, from Belarus. Uh, I came to Kyiv uh, more than 10 years ago. And since the time I'm living here in Ukraine, and I feel uh, myself part of this country now. When the conflict began at first, I was helping uh, to many volunteer organizations. And then I started to, to think what actually I could have been doing except for uh, financial uh, help to those who do something for the army. And then uh, I met Alexander Pirogov. When he was wounded, he had to demobilize. And uh, during this period, we met one another. And uh, we met Alexander Radichenko. And uh, as a result of our common brainstorming uh, was uh, born this idea of GeoServer project. It, this is a high technology project which will help to uh, improve the level of aerial reconnaissance in Ukraine. We want to unite efforts of, of uh, separate teams into just one fleet. We have already presented this project in the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, and we made a presentation and explained the aim of our project. I think it was a success because those who deal with this issue in practice confirmed that this project is really what the Ukraine, what Ukrainian army needs at present, because now we are switching to cyber technologies and uh, what helps to win the war is not the number of uh, your troops, but uh, uh, what technologies you have and uh, whether you know or don't know how to use them efficiently. And when we started to uh, work on this project, we uh, at first we had a lot of ideas. At present, we have uh, already conducted uh, um, research with the uh, uh, with the people who uh, work with uh, systems for sporting objects. And now, in fact, the scale of the project is larger than our capabilities, capabilities of uh, these people who are standing here on the stage. And uh, at present, uh, we thought that it may be a very crazy idea to invite, to invite talented youth to participate in this project. But we decided to try. And the uh, Cyclum company helped us and provided us their office in Dnipropetrovsk. Sergey organized the team of school children. And uh, in fact, during the hackathon, I was uh, really impressed. Those uh, calculations which were made by our participants, by all the teams, not only those who won, they are significant, uh, they are very difficult and the results are better than we actually expected. I would like to thank to Sergei Shirakov who was teaching uh, these, uh, uh, this youth. This is a very 
promising uh, generation they will bring uh, new technologies into our country. Now I give the floor to Alexander. He will give you more details about the work during competition. Good morning, my name is Alexander Vindek. I was responsible for uh, mathematic, math, for mathematics uh, during the hackathon. I was very impressed by the quality of uh, the work which uh, the participants did. And uh, to find solutions to uh, to the problems that we offered them, they were using not only uh, paper and uh, pen, but uh, mod uh, modern technologies. And uh, this gives us hope. This gives us serious grounds to believe uh, that uh, these guys are very promising. I was also impressed by the variety of approaches that they choose. When I was going uh, to the competition, I had an idea how they will be finding a solution to the problems, but I saw just one, uh, just one solution. Then it turned out that, there, are, that uh, there is at least four types of solution, because every of the four team offered their own, their own unique uh, way how to deal with that. The negative moments that I would like to mention is that, of course, we felt uh, that uh, the participants um, had uh, like a lack of experience in mathematics. Of course, uh, this uh, is connected to problems in our education because uh, Ukrainian education is always uh, often very abstract. Um, and uh, not connected to practical tasks, and here they had to deal with practical tasks. Uh, but despite this, all, uh, all the works were very good. Unfortunately, several teams uh, could not um, um, implement uh, their ideas in full, but uh, anyway, they were creative, and I would like to thank everyone who participated. Good morning. My name is Sergei Sherekov, uh, uh, director of the program, student programmer, and director of the NGO IDF, and uh, director of Smart Me University. Two years ago, we presented in this uh, in the same press hall uh, the program, student programmer, and. Now I would like to tell you about the last stage of this program. Four teams were participating in the hackathon from Dnipro, Ivano-Frankivsk, Drogobych. Uh, so there is quite a wide geography. There were uh, guys from the 11th and 10th forums. Uh, there were six uh, certified uh, uh, certified students which received certificates from uh, oral uh, company. So you can see that the level is very high. The conclusion from this competition, uh, the first conclusion, is uh, that students can deal with the professional uh, development of software. Moreover, they can implement this in, in, practic in practice. The second conclusion that um, a detailed uh, education, uh, ed educational study of IT is very important, and uh, students understand now the connection between uh, between uh, formulas and mathematics and uh, uh, programming. This project uh, shows us the direction uh, in which our education should have been developing. We are talking uh, a lot about ideas how to develop education and uh, about ideas how to help our army. And I'm very glad that we connected these two trends in uh, one project because we are developing, uh, we are moving towards both aims at the same time. Uh, 
In fact, we managed to confirm by this project that it is possible to uh, teach uh, school children as programmers, rather as professional programmers. Um, it is very pleasant when professionals uh, see, uh, can uh, can say that school children uh, these school children are very uh, good sp uh, professionals and they are only school children not even students so I think that uh, uh, after these two years of student programmer project I think that we need to um, teach professional programming at school. Uh, even in the fifth, in the seventh form, and we would like to um, involve uh, teachers into this process. You can imagine how, what what phases do you, uh, the school children who are coming to universities? Do they have enough opportunities there? Nowadays, we would like uh, to combine. Uh, uh, the work in the university and the work in the company to offer them more opportunities. We see that school children are very interested in hackathons, competitions uh, which are taking place as education competitions are not uh, very interesting for the students. But uh, when they uh, when they heard about this hackathon, uh, they were simply waiting when it will be uh, when when it will be held. This is what is interesting to them, and this means uh, that uh, these uh, things can give them motivation. This can encourage them to study, and we need such hackathons at schools. And as a specialist, now I can say that we can be doing this even from very early school years. One more important aspect uh, is uh, to introduce digital technologies in schools. So in general, I can say that uh, this hackathon shows the way to a new education. Uh, thank you. You would like to add something? Yes, I would like to address uh, to, the, to the businessmen and uh, to people who are not indifferent to situation in Ukraine. We often hear that people are tired, the society is tired of war, but we must understand that Russia won't go away. We will have to deal with this problem for a long time. So all the efforts of volunteers, of companies, of businessmen should be joined in order to develop technologies which will help uh, us to protect our country. I'm a volunteer and uh, I feel I and I I feel a bit angry when I hear from my friends uh, that we are tired and so on and so on. We were there on the front line in order to protect you and to protect our country and we are ready to come back there and to protect our country. Now I know what I should have been doing as a student uh, of uh, Mathematics uh, Lyceum. I'm very happy that I uh, had this experience, in fact. Uh, now I would like to ask you several questions. Uh, the first question about the participants. As far as I understand, there were only, only boys, not two girls, too. Uh, how many students were there and uh, how you selected those who participated? There were 15 participants from four Ukrainian cities, from Dnipro or Dnipro region, I don't remember exactly, uh, then from Ivano-Frankivsk and from Drogobych. Uh, 13 from the 11th Forum and 10 from the 10th Forum and how you invited them. Uh, I'm, very, I'm, I'm very glad that uh, among those who 
uh, came to participate in the project uh, were not trained by me. They were, were trained by other professionals, and this uh, gives us hope that we will have more promising students in the future. Uh, the next question is from Sergei Malarchuk, Ukraine Crisis Media Center. Could you tell me, please, uh, does uh, our adversary, the Russian Federation, has uh, the same projects? And uh, is your project kind of secret? Do you consider the, um, uh, the possibility that the adversary will try to um, take some of your algorithms and so on? What I can say about this is that all the secret materials about these projects are here inside our heads. Uh, by the time when the project will be fully implemented, no one will know in, uh, what it is about in general. It is a unique project. And uh, I think that in the future, of course, someone will have similar ideas and someone will be interested to get uh, all the information about the project. But uh, at present, uh, we are uh, cooperating with the uh, Ukrabron Prom project. And they will support uh, innovative decisions like our startup, uh, the startups uh, related to defense. You told that there were a presentation in the Ministry of Defense and uh, you received uh, a very good appraisal of this project. Do you have any plans about future cooperation and implementation of these results in the east of Ukraine? On, uh, the Ministry of Defense uh, said uh, that they are interested and we have even their official letter that uh, they are ready to use uh, the results of our project in the east of Ukraine for aerial reconnaissance. And now we continue the work on this project because we have a lot of ideas and now we need investments because uh, the, um, the scale of the project is uh, widening all the time. Now we need funding and we need uh, talented youth as well as uh, talented um, professionals which uh, have already experience of programming. I have no doubt that we will succeed. Of course, uh, the unique ideas are here in our heads. We are really um, an extraordinary team. I, I'm not afraid to say that Alexander is uh, uh, a real star at, a, a real star in area in Ukrainian aerial reconnaissance. Uh, Ivan Rodnichenko is a very well-known volunteer and uh, I'm a professional develop developer of software. So there is a lot of uh, talented guys here and I have no doubt that uh, we will um, uh, succeed in this project and uh, we'll give our results to the army. You said there were three winners in the hackathon? Yes, so there were three winners. And how are you going to cooperate uh, with them in the future? Because they have to finish school and then to go to the university. I guess uh, we will uh, give them uh, uh, like small parts of work in the future. And perhaps it, uh, this way will make them millionaires in uh, several in, in several time. Thank you for your work. I wish you more talented youth, talented participants in uh, uh, your future project. If you have m more questions or if you have any remarks, please take the floor. Yes, I would like just to thank. I would like just to thank. You Ukraine Crisis Media Center for providing us uh, uh, this opportunity to tell about uh, our project. And of course, we wish victory to us. The next event is in two minutes.